And sometimes when you're actually going to the tail and paying for something, you're praying and you're hoping that it does not decline because you haven't checked your account. You don't want to check your account. You're in denial. Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about something that's really, really important to me and that I've touched on here and there on my channel and that's saving budgeting managing your finances and just being an independent boss babe in general and that's because i saved fifteen thousand pounds in two years so if you want to learn how i did that then keep on watching if you're new here hi my name is lorraine and my channel is lori lux and i focus on curvy fashion affordable luxury lifestyle and also travel if you love all those things then click that subscribe button and join the family so like i said i love fashion buying clothes going on holiday, going out to eat, luxury designer items. And I call myself the lifestyle connoisseur. But I recently shared that I bought a house by myself in my 20s. So saving and budgeting is very on brand for me, darling. So that's going to be my very first tip. You need to have a goal. You need to have a target. It's all well and good saying, I want to start saving. I want to start budgeting. I want to start managing my finances. But if you don't actually have a goal or a reason why you're saving, you're going to find it really, really difficult to do so. I'm sure most of you have heard of the a smart acronym right and this stands for specific measurable achievable realistic and timely and i'm going to be breaking that down throughout the videos i'm giving you tips on how to budget and how to save so we'll start off with specific so like i said you need to have a target and a goal you need to know what you're saving for you need to know why you're saving so in my example i knew that i wanted to save for a house so that was my specific so not only did i know that i wanted to buy a house i knew how much that house was going to be and the reason i knew that is because i knew how much i could afford when it came to buying a house by myself so i went ahead and set myself a time period for how long i was going to save for i'm going to share with you why the time period was very very important when it comes to the other tips that i'm going to share with you later on in the video it's all well and good saying that you want to save a certain amount of money but it might take you a very very long time to actually save that money if you don't set yourself a time period for when you want to have that money together and it also gives you focus and dedication and motivation in my case i gave myself two years to save that money okay so i've got a specific goal and i know why i'm saving and i know how long i want to save for what comes next budgeting when it comes to budgeting i know it's not very cool it's not very sexy and it's something that people tend to stay away from because in the society we're kind of looking for like that instant payout but with budgeting it's like the long haul game but budgeting is also a very very good way of exercising discipline like a lot of people say it's easier said than done right wrong it's not that difficult trust me if i can do it anybody can do it i use a budget template and i'm going to link it down below for you guys the exact one that i used and still use up to this day for you to be able to budget you need to know how much money you actually have whether that's one source of income or multiple streams of income that way you can actually break down each and every expenditure and i'm talking each and every expenditure okay so that is your rent that is your bills maybe your debt that you have if you have a car that's on finance your petrol or diesel transport if you use public transport your food food is a necessity we need food to eat and if there's things that you're not willing to negotiate on so that might be your tv subscription your netflix subscription maybe your gym membership or any other kind of like health membership every single thing that you pay for however i want to make it very very clear do not include your lifestyle costs so lifestyle costs are things like maybe the starbucks that you get on your way to work the clothes that you buy for example going out to dinner going out to drink or stuff like that that is a lifestyle choice so once you know how much money is coming in and how much money is going out you now know how much disposable income you have left so this is where you're then able to actually work out how much you can realistically save every single month or however often that you get paid so let's say for example your disposable income is 700 pounds according to research a single person can survive on three 350 pounds a month 
I think a single person can survive on so much less but let's go with that value for example 350 pounds so you subtract that and then you're left with 350 pounds so you know that you can comfortably save 350 pounds every single month so you know yourself your lifestyle you know what you like you know what you do and what you enjoy doing you now actually need to budget that 350 pounds which is your living cost and actually give yourself an allowance if you know that you like to go out with friends for example for a drink or for dinner you now need to budget how many times a month are you going to be able to afford going out to dinner or drinks in the month it might be that you enjoy buying fashion accessories skincare or whatever how much money are you then going to allocate yourself to buy new clothes or whatever it is that you want to buy now my tip here is that you need far less than you actually realize you always have to remember the specific your goal what am i saving for why am i doing this and this is where the timely part of the smart comes into play because you know how long it's going to take you or you want to save for that specific thing so this is where you're actually able to make sacrifices so for me in that two years i was able to make sacrifices with my lifestyle because i knew that i wanted to buy a house in two years there were so many things that i could not do or that i chose not to do because it's a choice i could have chose to do those things i could have afforded to do all those things but i actually sacrificed for my future goal i hope that makes sense so the kind of sacrifices that you can make in your lifestyle are living at your parents house to minimize your expenditure or living in a shared accommodation to minimize your expenditure having a travel mug and taking a coffee to work instead of buying starbucks or costa coffee whichever one is your vice not buying clothes every single month maybe just going on one holiday a year instead of the three four five holidays that you're accustomed to shopping at a low cost cheaper supermarket instead of the other expensive supermarkets and actually another tip when it comes to like shopping actually looking at the prices when you're shopping so that means you actually have to give yourself time when you do your weekly shop or your monthly shop however often you do your shopping because what a lot of people tend to do when they're shopping is that they're just picking things up as they go in terms of what they actually want you're not comparing if there's a cheap alternative or a cheaper product now i know you like what you like if you like something you like something but this is something Thing to think about because literally your mindset has to change your lifestyle has to change you have to change your habits every single thing that you do has to be geared towards budgeting saving and your goal if you live in a central location do you really need a car and if you do need a car does it have to be a brand new car essentially you just want something to take you from a to b it's not that you can't have that nice car it's not that you can't have that expensive watch it just means that you can't have it right now now, but you'll be able to enjoy that plus more once you've saved up for whatever it is that you need to save up for and reach that specific goal so when it comes to managing your finances there's so many ways that you could do this but i'm just going to share with you some of the tips that i use i've already spoken about the importance of picking the best savings account you need to do your research look at interest rates and which savings account is going to actually benefit you in your long run and your specific goal you need to track your money a lot of the time as people we're not checking our balance we don't want to know how much we have or we don't have in our account and sometimes when you're actually going to the till and paying for something you're praying and you're hoping that it does not decline because you haven't checked your account you don't want to check your account you're in denial but it's very very important that you're tracking your account that you're checking your account how much do you have have i overspent have i gone over budget because sometimes if these things can happen you can have a budget you can have have an allowance that you've given yourself but maybe it just so happens that you've gone over the budget but if you're constantly tracking your account and constantly tracking how much money you have in your account you would know that and you'll be able to kind of like stop yourself from buying something else or rejig things around and take that money from elsewhere and the best way of tracking your finances is actually having your banks app on your phone because instead of having
having to like go on your computer or, or log in this that and the other when you have your app it's a very very easy way of being able to track you know you see how much you have you see what's due to come out another way to actually help you with saving is to be resourceful because if you only have one source of income it can take you longer to get to your goal so for example with me i was quite good at maths and one of the things that i used to do is actually tutor people i don't do this anymore by the way but i was able to use my skill and something that i was good at to actually earn extra cash if you have a skill if you've got time for example to do a part-time job this is something that you can actually consider to help you with your saving goal I get so passionate talking about finances guys because there's nothing more fulfilling than when you've saved for something and then you actually reach your goal and your target and you accomplish that so I really hope that these tips will help you guys to actually save and motivate you to be more financially responsible let me know in the comment section down below if there's a specific thing that you're actually saving for so we can hold each other accountable or if there are any other saving and budgeting tips that you want to share with other people it would be really really helpful if you have enjoyed this video then do not forget to give me a thumbs up as it really really helped me out and if you come all this way thank you you're a real one just don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also press that notification bell so you never miss a video for me make sure you're having a lovely day night evening wherever you are and i'm gonna see you back here in my next video bye guys